pleasant, if not warm, evening setting up for us in Tallahassee. 87 degrees right now. Dry air is moving in from the west, which is reflected in the dew point, which shows the moisture in the air at 67 degrees. Yesterday at this time, it was in the 70s. So if you have to do something tonight, it's probably your best night because later on this week, we are going to just be inundated with rain. Starting tomorrow, most likely, only reaching 93. Successive heat warnings in this magenta color right here, which is heat index is over 110 degrees for parts of Louisiana and the Delta. So they are experiencing the sweltering temperatures like we've been seeing here in Tallahassee for the last couple of weeks. Rainfall totals should be climbing throughout the next couple of days as kind of skipped ahead, but we are looking at around an inch or so of rain stretching all the way from the Panhandle up through the lower parts of Georgia and South Carolina and Key West. 74 in Jacksonville, they're not going to cool down that much. We still keep those clouds and little rain showers hanging around, so it's not going to be a good night out there. But further south, clearing condition rates, so we're not able to cool ourselves down as much, and thus it feels much hotter on our skin than, say, dew points in the 60s, 50 range, which hopefully we'll get down there soon, but right now we are sitting at 70 degrees for our dew point for much of the Big Bend region. And as you head further west into the southeast, clear skies, beautiful day out there, a little bit warm, returning to a little bit more summer-like pattern, but overall rain contained to Florida, 86 in Montgomery, 95 for Tallahassee, 97 for Shreveport. Just a hot day out there, a little cooler further south into Florida, which is increasing our rain chances, including tomorrow, which is why if you're going out on the boat tomorrow, if we can avoid the rain, it might not be a bad day other than being hot. Clouds for now, but there is rain pushing in from the east, more towards Valdosta and Thomasville. Tallahassee, we're in the clear right now, but as you can see, across to our east, it is moving in. So for the most part, we're staying in the upper 80s to mid 90s. Could be a little bit cooler depending on when the rain gets here tomorrow. But overall, 90 degrees for us. And rain chances pick up as we go into the weekend. 99 Bainbridge, 95 in Quincy, mostly mid 90s, even, even upper 90s for us in Bainbridge still but at the coast, 88 in Apalachicola and 89 in Carabelle, because they are near the water and the sea breeze has started to try to make its way through by, by noon or so, clouds are going to come in and most likely going to be experiencing a lot of big raindrops darting around them at the beach and on the sand. Tonight, 30% chance of rain, but that looks like once the storms that are moving through right now go out of the area, they should be gone and our rain chances diminish as we go further into the future, especially for us in the western part of the Big Bend. Eastern part might hang on to those rain chances for a little bit longer, but for us in Tallahassee, they're going to be gone by the next hour or two. And tomorrow, another as you drive from Orlando, maybe down to Miami or West Palm Beach down the Turnpike, you're looking pretty good for the most part. Currently, still holding strong at 99 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and not much wind out there, so we're retaining that heat and moisture and just nasty conditions. Showers and thunderstorms moving back through the area again today. We got a little bit of a storm that pushed through around 11, 12 o'clock today and looking like we got one last round to go through before we get into the evening. Only 85 degrees out there, unlike the mid-90s you're seeing the last couple of days. Pretty good beach day out there, especially over towards the west coast, 93 in Fort Myers, so cooling off in the water was a great idea if you did happen to get off work today. With this low pressure, the rain chances pick up a little bit overnight, but as this sags across Florida, it will stall out and we will start to see unsettled weather creep back into our region, mainly towards the western panhandle. We have this large area of moisture draped across Alabama with the approaching cold front. Showers have died down a little bit over the course of today, but it is moving towards us and we have to be wary for tomorrow. The rain chances do pick up, but the rest, but it does look like since there is a trough moving through our area that we will be experiencing some rain, especially in the afternoon tomorrow, as much as a half an inch, but we could of course see more than that because it is Florida and there's so much moisture in the air that if we do get these thunderstorms, most likely they're gonna dump a lot of rain. So it could be more than that. So be wary just in case, especially in Dixie and Taylor counties. We haven't really seen any rain in a while down at Miami proper along the coast, but inland they, they have seen some, which is good. They really do need it down there. There's really not much going on. We've had some fair weather cumulus to block out the sun today, but overall there's, there's really no spotty storms like we were used to seeing out there for us, but we do have this low pressure spinning down in the Gulf right here, which has been hammering Tampa and Orlando.